Now we're going to use a different method to make a square spring. We'll start off with our 1mm grid and with the rectangle tool selected we'll draw a square with an internal square making an annulus of 1mm. Now I think we'll make it uh, more realistic than what we've shown here. We'll put some corner radii in, one millimeter on the inside, and two millimeter here. Then pull tool. Select the annulus, type 20, return. Now we've got a tube with nice round corners. And we can get rid of the surface there. We want to select that, make it vertical. And we've got that side selected. Control click the other side on sketch key. Now, one thing we need is an axis up the middle because we're going to need that eventually. So, we'll draw an axis in. And also, we want a cutting tool, the rectangle again. So, we'll put that down here. We need a nice long cutting tool there. Now that we have all this, we can select P for pull tool. Select our cutter. We want the cut option. Goes to cut over there. And we're going to revolve on an axis. So we select an axis and revolve a helix. Now usually I set the pitch first, in fact it's a good idea to set the pitch first because as soon as you set the height and press return things, everything happens. So you see if I press the return key that just sets that and now I can highlight the height key as long as it's highlighted in blue I can type the height I want my, my helix to go. Now, for some reason, uh, in this case, it needs to be a minus value, minus 25. I have not yet figured out why sometimes it has to be negative and sometimes positive. Perhaps um, the Design Spark people can give me some clue about that. Anyway, now that I've got that height in there, which 5mm extra should go right through, we can now pr press the return key and we should get our spring. It's working on it. Do, 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 do. There we are. And there's our square spring. Brilliant. Magic. Now you may notice a couple of things about this spring. Uh, it, it no longer twists. You've got nice coils that do not twist. This spiral, you've got a nice helix, but the actual material does not twist. Also, you've got a nice flat top and bottom cuts off top and bottom because of course we started with a square tube that was square each end. So only where it starts to do the helix does it start to go at an angle. So this part here is flat at the top and the same at the bottom of course. So there it is. Well there you are. Square springs. Magical isn't it? 
Hope you found that entertaining and useful. So until the next time, take care. Ow.